Hello! Let's start using LLM with Python and Langchain. We will install required libraries for that. Then we will set up OpenAI API key from scratch. And finally, we will write Python code for Langchain in a way we understand everything in the code. Let's go! Let's start hands on right now. So here on the right is the terminal with activated Python virtual environment ready for work. On the left is the official Langchain documentation where we copy and paste Langchain installation command to our terminal on the right. So now Langchain is being installed into my Python virtual environment. It takes just a few seconds. And here you go. Langchain is installed and ready to use. Clearing the screen. Another important step, set up your OpenAI API key. On API API setup page, click on create new secret key, type the name of the API key you want to generate and finally click on create a secret key. The system will generate the new API key for you, which must be safely stored on your side. I copy it and create an environment variable on my computer for this. If you use macOS as well, type export OpenAI API key with underscores or any other meaningful name without spaces to set up your key. Paste the key from the OpenAI portal and your environment variable for OpenAI API is created. To be sure that your environment variable is correct and ready to use, you can type echo and the name of your environment variable, just like echo dollar sign open underscore api underscore key and here is it your actual api key to connect to openai api done the next step load this environment variable and use it in real practice together with langchain so for this tutorial i will use atom code editor where i will write the actual python code and this playground.pi file which now is empty First of all, load the OpenAI key environment variable into our code. For this we need OS Python package and then we can print the actual value of this just like this using os.environ function with the name of the environment variable. Let's run and see that. Perfect, the OpenAI key is successfully loaded and ready to be used in our code. Before coding, let's install another Python package, this time is for OpenAI. Simple, pip install OpenAI. And that's it. Now, both Langchain and OpenAI Python package are installed and can be used together, which is really powerful. So, that's what we wrote before, let it be used, API key variable in the code. Now, let's do the direct connection to the OpenAI. from langchain.llms import openai. So now I'm going to import the openai model and this is actually the text completion model. Here I want to know that with the release of GTP4, openai is moving away from these LLM text completion interfaces and moving towards chat models. Now we need to be sure that we have an API connections. For this reason, we're passing OpenAI key, which is API key we declared just above. Let's run the code to be sure everything is alright. Everything is working, no errors and we can move next. So now, let's do a very simple text model call. I want to print the output of LLM by giving an input as here is an interest fact about Paris. Let's run that. Oh, we got error on quota. That is because I did not increase my quota on OpenAI website before. This rate limit error indicates that I exceeded my free trial limits and I need to upgrade my plan. You can skip this part if you don't face this. 
Here's OpenAI Billing and Limits page where it's written that you must be on paid plan to set up your usage limits. I have no choice in this situation, just upgrade my plan to billing. Credit remaining is zero, so I am starting my payment plan. Here I quickly enter my initial credit and our details to do a payment. I want to add extra $15 to my account to fall right now. It seems everything is fine, so I switch back to my code. Let's run the script again. And here you go. OpenAI gave me the answer to my query. The Eiffel Tower is the most visited paid monument in the world. Looks good for now. Let's play a little bit and change the query by asking a strange fact about Egypt. Let's run the script one more time for that. And here is the new output to my query. So far so good. So, why use Langchain right now? You can see that it is actually quite simple when you set up your API key to just say something to LLM and then pass in the text. Let's imagine that you actually want to do multiple requests at once. You can use LLM.generate and then you can pass in a list of prompts. For example, the first one. Here's a name of a good book to read in weekends. And the second one. Here's a name of old song created by artists from US. I also suggest to check a result schema to see the full output. I can see description, properties, and the different items that were returned by the model. Additionally, to make this message more specific and more narrow, you can use LLM underscore output. And I can see my token usage, total tokens, and the actual model that I was pinging. So by default, in this case, the model I am using is TextDaVinci003. Now, as the name implies for generate, you can actually get back generations. So that means I'm going to say results.generations and this is essentially a list of generation objects. You can see that generation objects themselves are within a single item list and they have a text attribute to them which is the actual output text, one of outputs from this generation. That means if I want to use the second output only, which is index equal to 1, I pass it here. And then the first element in this internal list is the output I consider. And finally I say I want to take text element from there. Here you go. One of the generated output from generation object using Langchain. You can take the first output from generation output as well then change the index to 0. So, here is the output for our first query and here is the output for our second query. Here you go, everything works as expected. I hope that this tutorial was useful for you and if you want to get more high quality tutorials in future, Please subscribe my channel and see you there.